In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Good morning and let us start with our first hymn. It's good to be with you again this morning and today we're keeping the, bapt uh, the baptism of Christ where we will have the opportunity to renew our baptism vows. Let's sing the Gloria. So let us pray. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children, through Jesus Christ, 
your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the Apostles of Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for as yet the Spirit had not come upon any of them. They had only been baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In the wilderness, John proclaimed the baptism of repentance. As the people were filled with expectation, all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah. John answered them all by saying, I baptise you with water, but one who is more powerful than I, he is coming. I am not unworthy to tie the thong of, untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now when all the people were baptised, and when Jesus also had been baptised and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And the people were questioning in their hearts concerning John whether he might be the Messiah. Many people will tell you that we are in a post-Christian age, that people have moved beyond Christianity and uh, decided it's irrelevant for them. And for some people that may well be true. But for others, there is still a searching, a questioning. People who want to know about Jesus. I will have talked at Christmas about the opportunity there. I will have talked at Epiphany about people coming and seeking. And here we have at Jesus' baptism. It must have been amazing to see the Holy Spirit descend upon him in bodily form like a dove and a voice come from heaven saying, You are my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. There was once a book written by a great theologian that was entitled Bible Believing, I think it was Bible Believing Methodists Don't Eat Black Pudding. And it talks very much about... Uh, what we can and what we can't read in the Bible. There are lots of things in the Bible that we choose not to not not to not to take too much notice of. I'm sure many of you enjoy shellfish. Well, in the Bible it says we shouldn't. I'm sure some of you, and I include myself in this, wear polycotton or mixed fibre clay as well. In the Bible it says no. And then we come to baptism. There is nowhere in the Bible you will read about infant baptism, but we all do it gladly. We do it widely. And I know when sometimes I've been questioned on it, I've always said, well, I, it's something that I do because I want to be with those families, but also the Holy Spirit to come down upon them. 
And when that Holy Spirit comes down on that child, I hope I have to leave the rest to God. And I would like to think that, although we don't always hear it, whenever I baptise a child, and I think all the baptisms I've done in recent years have been of a child, there is this somewhere, you are my son, you are my daughter, with you I am well pleased. And I am sure God is very pleased when we baptise. We use water, we have that symbolic element of washing away sins, and that's important. And of course, that new fresh start. And in a few moments we will actually renew our own baptism promises. So as we go through this week, think about that new start, about baptism. Think about coming forward. It's a fairly important thing. As we have an opportunity to renew our, our own baptism promises that many of us, many, many of us will have had said for us on behalf of us by our godparents as we were babies. Indeed, I was months old when I was baptised. Amen. So here's my mobile font, and it's what I baptise in at the moment, in recent times, the font goes with me, wherever I'm baptising. So God in Christ gives us water welling up for the eternal life. With joy you will draw water from the well of salvation. Lord, give us this water, and we shall thirst no more. Praise God who made heaven and earth, who keeps his promise forever. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of Universe. You are our light and our salvation. For today the grace of the Holy Spirit, in the form of a dove, ascended upon the waters. Therefore, Heavenly Father, accept our sacrifice of praise, and by the power of that same life-giving Spirit, sanctify these waters of your new creation, that we, with all who have been born anew by water and the Spirit, may be renewed in your image, walk in the light of faith, and serve you in newness of life. Through your anointed Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit we lift our voice of praise. Blessed be God, our strength and our salvation, now and for ever. Amen. God of truth, you are faithful to the covenant you have made with us. Look in mercy on your people. In a dark and disfigured world, we have not held out the light of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In a hungry and despairing world, we have failed to share our bread. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. In a cold and loveless world, we have kept the love of God to ourselves. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Today we rejoice and give thanks because your son humbled himself in the Jordan. Through the waters you have given us the mystery of baptism for the remission of our sins. Wash us and we will be whiter than snow. Through water and spirit you give us new life as the people of God and pour out upon us the gifts of your new covenant. Wash us and we shall be whiter than snow. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to us to himself and cleanse you from all your sins, that we may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In baptism God calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light. 
To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore I ask, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? I renounce them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? I repent of them. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? I turn to Christ. Do you submit to Christ as Lord? I submit to Christ. Do you come to Christ the way, the truth and the life? I come to Christ. Brothers and sisters, I ask you to profess the faith of the Church. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. Lord, you told us to listen to Jesus. You fill us with the Holy Spirit of love and courage for our journey through life. Consciously you are with us at every stage of our way. We bring our prayers before you. At the start of the new year, we offer you the, the church to God. May it be a message of peace and reconciliation in our troubled world. Lord, in your mercy. At the start of the new year, we offer God everybody in leadership position of every sort. May their wisdom and compassion radiate dignity and respect for all people, especially those who might be vulnerable and disadvantaged. Lord, in your mercy. At the start of the year, we offer God a world in turmoil through the COVID pandemic. May carers and members of emergency services find the energy they need to keep going. Lord, in your mercy. May those who are sick recover their health. We remember Margaret, Isabel, Anne, Cheryl, Pauline, Phil, Robert, Bill, Yvonne, Baby Lee, Helena, Christine, Jackie and Roseanne. Lord, in your mercy. May those who have died enjoy eternal life, including Johnny, Jenny, Norman, David, Pam, Mike, Betty, Pauline and Alan. May those who mourn be comforted. Lord, in your mercy. At the start of the new year, we offer God our plans for the days ahead. May 2022 be a year of hope, adventure, happiness and security. Lord, in your mercy. At the start of the new year, we offer God all those babies and small children who are starting their lives. May they be protected and cherished by their families and everyone responsible for their care. Lord, in your mercy. At the start of the new year, we offer God the families and communities who will celebrate a baptism. May they create a welcoming home for their newly baptised members. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, watch over us, protect us and bless us today and always. Amen. Our Saviour Christ is the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there shall be no end. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And so we sing our next hymn.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. All honour and praise be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God. Through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for at this time we celebrate your glory made present in our midst. In the coming of the Magi, the King of all the world was revealed to the nations in the waters of baptism. Jesus was revealed as the Christ, the Saviour sent to redeem us. In the water made wine, the new creation was revealed at the wedding feast. Poverty was turned to riches, sorrow into joy. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to walk together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with our Lady, St. Joseph and all the saints, to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light and life. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be here.
So let us pray. Lord of all time and eternity, you opened the heavens and revealed yourself as Father. In the baptism of Jesus, your beloved Son, by the power of your Spirit, complete the heavenly work of our rebirth through the waters of the new creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we sing our final hymn. It's been good to join with you again today. If you're watching this on Sunday and you're local, uh, this evening at 6 o'clock at Rascola we have a Celtic service followed by tea. And obviously that's Epiphany Tide. So it'll be good if you're local to come to that. Uh, I look forward to being with you next Sunday. And uh, I trust that you'll keep well. If you have any prayer requests, please uh, 
message me or email me and let me know. May Christ draw you to humility and worship and bring you to see God at work. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love and to reflect God's glory. Amen.